Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Information Briefcase. Today we're going to learn about how your childhood life affect your love life. Now, let's begin. With regards to relationships everyone has their own specific manner of showing love. At times, these practices and manners of thinking can be negative rather than positive. As per a study children who had a safe connection with their parents growing up will quite often have better relationship later in their life, while kids who had bad relationship with parents are bound to have bad behavior and not stable relationship. Physiatrist made research that tells us our love styles are always based on our childhood lifestyle. So what does our relationship say about your childhood? Number 1. The controller. Assuming that you have the regulator love type you likely want to have control in a relationship. To stay away from the vulnerable negative sentiments you encountered as a youngster. By being in control you can guard your feelings like embarrassment, dread, and weakness. The one feeling doesn't cause you to feel helpless is anger so you might utilize anger to communicate your feelings. You always have a specific way to make things done and when your goals aren't met you may blow up or stressed. If you find yourself as a controller you likely experience childhood in a home where you did not feel secure. When you have gone through such harsh childhood in your life no one was there to protect you. You generally don't like stepping out of your comfort zone and you try to avoid going through negative feelings. You figure out how to be genuinely extreme and rough and how to deal with yourself. If you did not guard yourself with your anger you were vulnerable of being harmed. Number 2. The Pleaser. Somebody with the pleaser love type has the primary concentration of ensuring others around them are cheerful, regardless of whether it implies forfeiting their own needs to satisfy others. Pleasers have a habit for observing the mindset of everyone around them to ensure they are kept glad. Assuming somebody has a negative change in mood, the pleaser might have a discomfort feeling restless, upset, or pushed. If you're a pleaser, you don't feel happy handling these struggles. So you might lie, or do or express, what the other individual needs, just to stay away from struggle. It's regularly difficult for a pleaser to say no. As a kid, you grew up with an excessively protective or angry parents. They might have had excessively elevated expectations from you they need you to fulfill. And if you fail to impress them, you wouldn't get a positive reaction from them. Individuals always considered you to be good kids. Rather than getting affection from your parents, you are the person who really been giving them affection. Since your parents were very demanding in such ways, you might do anything to avoid to get a negative reaction from them, you even lie to your parents to please them. Number 3. The Avoider. Individuals with the avoider type love style regularly appear to be keeping their distance or unengaged. They don't want themselves to get emotional they also feel awkward when others around them get emotional. Avoiders give importance to their own space. Assuming you have avoider love style then as a kid, you might have experienced childhood in a home. That didn't show a great deal of affection that made you being free and independent. There was no one to give you emotional or physical comfort or affection when you were upset or troubled. At some point you quit focusing on your own feelings and needs. So you could manage the pressure and uneasiness. Number 4. The Victim. Victims don't have confidence and without a doubt experience sorrow or uneasiness. In love, it's normal for them to get attracted toward a dominating character. As they experience what they faced in their childhood victims are accustomed to accepting. They think that it is more comfortable or easier to be with a dominating character. As they were used to these kind of domination in their childhood. If you have the victim love style, you presumably experience childhood in a very disturbed home. You had parents who would be furious or even violent. Figuring out how to be consistent aided you to keep you safe from violence. Did you at any point utilize your creative mind to get away from negativity clouding you? That is normal with victim as being completely conscious is excessively agonizing for them. Number 5. The confusing. The term, confusing, means be in a dilemma or doubting. Or waver between various assessments or actions, or then again as such, to be hesitant. In case you have the confusing type love style you may, will generally glorify new relationship. But when the other individual shows any characteristic or behavior that you didn't expect, you start to question the relationship and may even think about cutting off the friendship totally. As a child you most likely grew up with unjudgeable parents. Perhaps they were continually finding reasons to venture out from home, going out regularly, or finding new relationship even when you really wanted them. Whatever the case might have been your needs weren't your parents' main goal. Due to this you may have unconsciously developed a fear of abandonment because of the reason that you didn't get love from your parents. 
As both a child and an adult you likewise presumably were extremely alert and sensitive, noticing even the smallest sign that somebody in your life was distancing themselves. So these love styles help us understand more of the negative way we react and behave in relationships, why we are like this, because of our childhood life. Did you identify with any of these styles? Leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe like share and comment below. Please press the bell button to get notification.